Well, this is the problem with all decentralized projects. The only problem with ADA is PR and marketing. It is not my job to sit up on a hill and imagine how do I make sure that another 10 million people adopt Cardano? How do I make sure that more 500 institutions invest in Cardano? How do I make sure that that sports stadiums put ads or subway trains put ads up for ADA? How do I do that? It's like, guys, it's a decentralized project and everyone has their role in place. And so uh, I'm the worst person in the world to go and figure out how to deploy 20, 30, $40 million of marketing money to create brand awareness. And also you have to ask the question, what is the timing of brand awareness? Doesn't it make sense that maybe we should have a phenomenal like client experiences and the full governance stack built out before we get the next wave of 10 million people? Probably a good idea. It doesn't make sense that the DAP ecosystem evolves a little bit and the pedagogy evolves a little bit before you get the next wave of people in or else you really can't manage that growth. There is a thing called growing too quickly. Um, MySpace is a case study in that. They went to 100 million users so quickly. Uh, and Facebook was very small compared to them. Now, if they could manage the growth, there would be no Facebook, there would be MySpace. But because it was asymmetrical and they couldn't manage it and they really didn't understand what to do with it, um, it fizzled away very quickly. So the point is that you kind of have to grow to a plateau, accomplish a lot of stuff. Then you break out of your bubble and you grow to the next plateau, accomplish a lot of stuff, and then you go to the next bubble. In terms of PR and marketing, what will happen organically or artificially uh, is that special interest groups will form using catalysts because the money's there to do PR and marketing. So if you are a person who is an expert in marketing, communication, branding, you don't have to go to the foundation of Charles Hoskins and say, please give me a job, please give me a grant, and I'll go and get adoption. You really think that the ecosystem has at this plateau evolved to a point where it's ready to spike up to the next one, as we did in 2020 to 2021, you go to Catalyst and say, I want $500,000, million, whatever, pick a fucking number, and I'm going to go market. That's the point of a decentralized treasury. Now, it's a little harder up front, but you get more variety. You get more regionalism. You get more ideas and opinion and creativity, and you get better oversight at the end of the day. Smaller amounts. Your other option is to take all that treasury money and give it to a custodian and hope to God that they know what they're doing. And yeah, if you think that's a great idea, ask yourself how it's really working out for EOS and Pluck One and how that community is appreciating and respecting its custodianship and governance and the $4 billion that they've raised and they're playing with. You see, so you have to be careful what you ask for. You also have to ask, what are you asking for? What are the root questions you're asking for in this PR and marketing? I know because of the papers we've written, the code we've written, the engineers we have, and the roadmap we're pursuing, how to get great performance, great layer two protocols, a wonderful light client experience, how to build out the developer ecosystem in terms of the developer experience and the tools, and how to get interoperability with mainstream languages and Ethereum. We know how to do that as an organization. I think that's what I need to do and focus on. I'm not a marketer. And so you have to ask yourself who is best equipped to build that organ. And maybe that's the foundation. Maybe that's a catalyst fund. Now, we will invest in marketing because I'm getting damn tired of the lies and the FUD. I'm getting very tired. For example, just while this week I was gone, there was an article published that made great rounds on Facebook that said there's a critical flaw and every single Cardano smart contract suffers from it because an independent security researcher found a vulnerability in the way that some people, not ever, all people, some people have been writing their smart contracts. Let's be clear. This is not a security flaw with the node, the ledger rules, Plutus, the language, or frankly, anything we've done. It's just that if you write your contract in a certain way, people can take advantage of that, which has actually been known by the Plutus team for months. And at some iteration or refinement of the language, what we'll do is make it harder 
to write code that way. In the meantime, you educate people and say, don't do it that way. We see this all the time with SQL injections. We see this all the time with all kinds of design patterns with websites, web servers. Does that mean that all these languages, PHP and Ruby and Python and JavaScript are fundamentally broken? Of course not. It's a preposterous statement. It just says there are best practices and we are discovering those best practices with how you use those tools in order to avoid common exploits. That's that simple. Yet, blog post is floating around and the very person that they purport to quote, the minute that they published it, I think he runs a firm called Canonical, tweeted, no, I didn't say that at all. You're lying. Was there a retraction? Was there an apology? Did they say, we got it wrong, we're so sorry? No, because they never do. There's no accountability anymore in the press. This is why the media is so reviled and hated. They don't apologize when they get it wrong, and they don't care about the products, projects, and lives that they destroy along the way. It's theater for their entertainment and their money, and nothing more. It has nothing to do with about integrity or truth. It's lost that. So we are hiring seven people and some to help with community management, some to help with developer evangelism, and yes, some to help fight the fires and the FUD and make sure accurate information gets out and uh, we can get above some of this noise. And yes, there are marketing campaigns that will continue to invest in because we think it's very important that people understand the vision and philosophy of the platform. And those are donations to the Cardano ecosystem. Like, for example, the, uh, the Africa Special um, that's important stuff. Uh, and I know the foundation's investing money in marketing as well. And they have $25 million budget. I think a big part of it will be PR and marketing. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's a, a, a means to an end. And if you're talking about why it's a great ecosystem to join and build upon and accomplish things with, that's one thing. If you're talking about, well, Ethereum sucks and Avalanche sucks and this sucks and this sucks and you should buy us and Ra and, and Lamborghini and Wenmoon and you know the people who did that they end up becoming the ambassador to Grenada.